Hi. Um, to talk a little bit about the urgency of me getting this message out to everybody of what I've learned is I worry that I don't want there to be one more day, not one more moment of anyone to feel the level of despair that one can land on feeling when they go through being the victim of narcissistic abuse. Not one more minute, not one more day, not one more moment. When you are at a certain level of despair, it can be a frightening thing. And to come out the other side, like Demi Lovato, Grammys 2020, she sings that song, Anyone. And I've been trying this all day. Usually I make a video once, maybe twice, and it's fine. I've been practicing all day because I cry when I think about it. When she sings that song, Anyone, and you have to look it up. I don't think I'm allowed to play music. I don't know. I am gutted. Gutted. That song is the fact that she is here to deliver this song with such grace and elegance and her glorious vocals live after knowing she wrote the song. Listen to it. My point is, she is metaphorically screaming into that microphone. And the girl does not scream. I love her vocals. She can control. She knows when to be big, when to be small. There's a lot of singers out there that scream, and I don't like them. She doesn't do that. But this song, she's metaphorically screaming into the microphone, begging, pleading, is anyone there? Any particular line, word, or action might have caused her to make the proper decision. And the proper decision is the fact that she's here to sing that for us. Because anyone that wrote that song was on the brink of despondency that no one should get near. That brink leads to decision making. And some of us, and I hope you do not, some of us know people for whom the permanent decision to a temporary problem was the way that they went. And maybe hearing one message or one video or one thing from one person would have brought them the other way or made them see the light. She stood there with that song and sang with such strength. How can you not be motivated? All I have to do is open my mouth. I have all this information. I was researching. I come across this video. It was all kind of serendipity, I guess is the word, right? But... And the reason it affected me so much is you have to understand her age and my daughter's age are such that I watched her. We watched her growing up. She's, I think, 28 or something. My daughter's 20, going to be 21. So Sunny with a Chance, Camp Rock, Princess this and that. Watched it. So you end up with like this maternal thing for these people. You want to see where and how they turn out. Here's this glorious kid with this megawatt smile in the most positively entitled show ever, Sunny with a Chance. There's not a more optimistic title. So you grow up, you like these people, you see her sing this song. All I wanted to do when I watched her sing Anyone was reach out to her. Maternally, as an auntie, as a cousin, as a friend, as and just sit crisscross applesauce and talk to her for 15 hours straight until any issues she had questions about were answered, addressed. It, it is a tough thing to watch that, that performance. And she held it together, and she delivered it with stellar strength, and that shows me that she, she did, she's a survivor. She's a survivor. And I don't ever want anyone to feel the way she felt when she wrote that song and the way that you could tell she was feeling again when she sang that song. It's a beautiful song, but it's heart-wrenching. And I can't help but think of my daughter and all the daughters and sons in between that age where that's how some people are feeling. And so my urgency is her fault because I was so moved by her strength 
to get up there and do that and to have had the wherewithal to write those words down um, that I just keep, I keep making these videos and I want people to hear them because one thing I say may, may turn somebody. I've done it. I've been there so I can identify. I might say something that clicks for someone. And if we can keep people away from that level of despondence to where they're not teetering on a life altering decision, which listen to that song. It's heavy. It's serious. Somebody's begging for help from anything in the world. And, and that sense of urgency is what created my sense of urgency. She was um, exquisite to share that gift of that song with us in the way that she did. And I was moved and I'll forever be moved. So Demi Lovato's to blame for my sense of urgency getting this message out to you. Please, that I guess I should encourage you to share things because if you know somebody and you think, ooh, they might vibe with Renee. Renee Flamand sounds not so clinical and... I'm not an expert, but if you think that, oh, somebody looks like they might need help, sh give them, show them. I've made these quick videos. They can run through one thing, one thing, somebody, somebody, and I haven't even asked to share yet or done any of that, but maybe I should be because one thing I say, and you by you sharing it, you could make a difference in somebody and flip-flop them into making a decision that is not a permanent solution to a temporary problem. So, please... Just, um, yeah, it's all Demi Lovato's fault that I've been so um, forthcoming with all this information, with the urgency of it. So, thank her. <laughs>